Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zahn Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at Autodesk Point Layout 2016 within Revit 2016, and specifically the coordinates command and the control points command. <clears throat> Here I am in a structural model, and I'll head over to the ground floor, and this is what it looks like. Typically, you'll take your view that you want to work with and duplicate it, so I've created one called Ground Floor Point Layout. And I need to start laying out initially the coordinates. And the reason we do this is to specify the correct points to work with uh, and so that it gets synchronized back and forth between what's out in the field versus your Revit model, your 3D AutoCAD model, or your Navisworks aggregated model. Now, the coordinates and data reference points on the site that are marked uh, typically by the GC or the civil engineer that information you will obtain from them. And once you have it, you can start working with it. So I'll go over here and I'll click coordinates. And it'll ask us what unit we want to work with. So I'll put in decimal feet. We'll work as a work plane base. And we'll go ahead and we'll put in our coordinate points. The coordinate points that we're working with are going to be an Excel file that we receive from the engineer. So I'll head over to the Excel file. <clears throat> And we'll select that. We'll copy this. Head back here. Paste it. And we'll do another control point, say down here. And go back to Excel. Grab the other one. And paste it as well. Now, it'll ask us for a name. So we'll give it whatever we want. Say, uh, NUD Building Coordinate System points. Hit OK. And we'll set it as current. And so now that we've done this, we can start putting in control points. <clears throat> These control points basically can be placed several ways. You can add the control points by clicking here. And you can also add points several ways here. So we'll click control points. And uh, we can pick one of the four or five choices uh, in the building control points command. For example, maybe I want to place them on the grid. And it'll ask us to append. We'll say yes. We'll say we'll choose the level that we want to put it on, which is the ground floor. And then we go ahead and do a window crossing around the entire grid system so that we can put those control points at those intersections. <clears throat> we'll hit finish in the uh, options toolbar. And then hit done. And once that's finished, we'll right click, hit cancel, and we'll zoom in. <clears throat> and initially, it'll look like, hey, there aren't any control points, but there actually are. And some of them you say, you can see that it doesn't look like they're there, but they actually are there because the column's in the way. And once you have those points created, we can tag them. So we'll go to the Customize panel, click Add Tags. We'll work with the standard tag and tag everything. We'll include a leader with those tags, and now everything has been tagged. So you can see here control point A1, control point B1, so on and so forth. You can select the text and move them about <clears throat> so that it's easy to work with. So that's how you use Autodesk Point Layout to set up a coordinate system and create control points uh, for the initial stages of using Autodesk Point Layout um, in the uh, workflow. Thank you very much for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.